Wait, better stop in prison! In this film, I wanted to blend my love of coffee with the artistic process of making pour over with a suspenseful but also somewhat funny narrative. Partway through the film, we did have complications with some of our equipment. Both our audio recorder and my camera provide phantom power, and I forgot to turn off the phantom power on my camera. What, the sound? Yeah, the Between volume. takes, the recorder just shut off and refused to turn back on, so I had to use my camera to adjust volume levels, which added quite a bit of time to the shoot. We found out later that it actually had fried the circuits in the recorder because there was too much power flowing through. It was an expensive mistake, but this is just part of filmmaking. You have to you know, figure out a solution on set so that you can keep rolling and not waste time. And hopefully uh, you can learn from the, the mistakes and, and grow as a filmmaker. Another difficulty we had was not having the audio from the newscaster. And so I actually had the convict read it so that we could get the man's reaction to what was being said at the right timing. The convict could not just read the script normally, he had to add his own accent, but in the end, the man's reaction ended up looking really good, even with this incredibly annoying distraction. Corridor, and police believe this was the last accurate sighting. He may be desperate at this point. Along the I-98 corridor, and police believe this was the last accurate sighting. He may be desperate. Along the I-98 corridor, and police believe this was the last accurate sighting. He may be desperate. Oh, 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 oh. In order to build the suspense in the story, I wanted to really focus in on just the foley from this man in his remote cabin. When I did add the subtle music, it amplified the suspense even more. We used the Rode NTG3 for the foley mic, which, if you've seen the film, did an incredible job. Uh, just boom mic operator, sound designer, not really designed, but just a sound capture, so. Yeah, it's been a fun day so far. On our behind the scenes camera, we had the VideoMic Pro Plus, which is a great on-camera mic to use. It must be done perfectly for the cart's flavor, which I have done. We see that this man is more disappointed in himself with making an inferior cup of coffee than he is scared of having an escaped convict come back to his home. And he wants to redeem himself, this time not by making coffee, but making tea. The most enjoyable part of this project was spending the day with a great group of people. Everyone did an amazing job coming together to create this film. That's fantastic, man. Great, great, yeah. great grab. That's really good. That's very good. And by the end, we were all wired on caffeine, except this guy who only drinks tea. Shame on you, tea drinker. <laughs>